It's all the rage. Ukraine, when's it going to stop? What should the West be doing? Uh, Rita, the White House have hit upon a TikTok strategy, apparently. <laughs> yes, this is what they're focusing on. They've brought in a group of TikTok influencers and brief them about the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. They see this as a way of uh, changing minds and they, I guess it recognises the influence TikTok has. What China's, is TikTok? What is TikTok? Well, it's China's gift to the social media <laughs> world. It, it, is, it is the one social media site where I won't be on, I won't let my son be on. It, it, there's all sorts of issues with it, but... The White House has got these influencers, and I've got, I think we've got an image of uh, one of the influencers. In fact, go. I think we've got a whole video. So I just got off of a Zoom call with the White House about the situation in Ukraine. A number of other content creators in social media and myself were invited to this event, which was on background, meaning that we couldn't record or take pictures, but we can discuss what we learned from it. Now, there was definitely a lot discussed, but in this video, I'm going to go over the specific question that I got to ask, the answer to it, and my thoughts on their response. Well, he was actually explaining at least what happened, but some of the other TikTokers that were invited, well, they didn't really talk. They just dance, dance interpretive fantastic. dance, you know. The, the, I mean, it is nonsensical. It just shows you the White House is just so ill well, to well, deal with I, anything. 